Hey, Dr. Shecky here from Core Pelvic Floor Therapy right here in Irvine, Orange County. And this video has to do with what I come across way too often, hysterectomy, incontinence, and pelvic floor. So stay tuned. So I see a lot of patients in my practice for issues related to postural neurology and functional movement. Very, very closely related to what people consider to be pelvic floor issue. And in their head, they're thinking pelvic floor has to do with incontinence. And here I am telling you it has nothing to do with it. In fact, I'm gonna make sure I put a video on that very video I did to explain this more. So we're gonna put that aside for now. But it just seems like when women have had a few kids and they're a little bit older and the doctors, and they have incontinence issues, which doesn't have to necessarily, necessarily have to do with childbirth because if that was the case, why would men have incontinence? So not every incontinence has to do with childbirth or with aging. Those are like the boring, generic ways of looking at it. I'm seeing a lot more of those issues in younger people. Pelvic floor dysfunction is the cause. More than likely, a high percentage. So what ends up happening, and to me that is not acceptable, is when women have incontinence and they're like, well, you've had your like two or three kids, why don't we just pull that uterus out? It's like, what the heck? I mean, is that like a spare part? Like in the time of creation, it's like, oh my God, you shall have this uterus for these many years and then we shall take it away. I mean, come on. What kind of damage does that do? Just that surgery by itself. So let's think outside the box here, guys. If you're having incontinence and things are just loosey-goosey down there or worse, prolapse. I mean, if it's prolapse, I think you should get it fixed surgically. But then you're not done. You got to strengthen the pelvic floor muscles, which is more than just the bottom of you. This is not a free floating surface. It has attachments. So the health and functionality of the attachments play a role in the health of that level, that tissue, that group of muscles. It's more than just the tissue or skin. It's more than that. So there are a whole bunch of muscles between your private part and your anus. They're muscles on the inside and the outside. So working on just those, taking body parts away so it doesn't weigh it down, is not going to cut it. That should not be acceptable. I'm not questioning uh, uh, a whole bunch of experts that made that decision for you and you agreed with it. I'm just telling you that to me, that's a last resort. That just means the bottom of this bag, this paper bag that you're calling pelvic floor is weak and whatever they're doing. I mean, sometimes internally they go in and do stuff. It's kind of like when you have a bad back and you get massaged, it helps, but that's not sufficient. So think about it. Check out the other YouTube videos I have. Check out my website. There's this machine called Amcella that does 400 kegels a minute. That's more than one a second. That's great. It does magic but only works at the bottom of the floor. All the attachments need to be addressed too. And let's not start taking the contents of the bag out of the bag, thinking the bag's gonna last longer. I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me. Just wanted to do a video on that. I hope that um, it doesn't make sense to you either. So if you have any questions, make sure you contact me using one of the methods of contact and subscribe to the channel. And do know that you are at the mercy of the decisions you make. So empower yourself with the knowledge. Until next time, take care.